you know that that nine car has got all the components, so it should be easy. We actually have two nine cars in the race. The first nine car on the inside. Oh, a little contact there. Stan Fox is in the wall. Stan Fox hard into the wall. And you were riding with him as it happened. There is Fox moving around in the cockpit. He climbs out heavy damage to the Steve Lewis performance racing car. We were riding with Stan Fox, the veteran out of Wisconsin. He is okay, but how many times this season have we seen him walk away in disgust because of an accident? He is a very, very unhappy individual right now. What happened on that start was Kenny Irwin was unused to this race car. You saw guys go around him on both sides. And as he went into the corner, he, he didn't, I don't know whether he really moved up, but Stan Fox and he got together, put Stan into the this fence bias. very hard. And you know, I, I think it was a case of, of Irwin not really being familiar with that 16 car. And it was really an unfortunate situation for Stan Fox. Look at that thing, it's extensive damage. That is the coil car, that is the pavement car built by Bob East and his shop here in Indianapolis, the Beast chassis. Now they elected to let Stevie Reeves go with the coil car, with the uh, torsion bar car, which is the dirt car that Stan drove so successfully at Belleville. Oh, Let's look once again. Call it, Larry. Okay, we see Fox down here. We see Danny Drynan right in front of him. And watch the blue car, the very first car up there. You see Drynan go around him on the right side. You see Bliss go around him on the left side. Not very much room, but the car did not take off or he wasn't used to it, whatever. But he went into the corner. He touched wheels. That's what happened. It really, Danny Drynan went down, touched his wheel. He went up into Fox, and at that point, he or Fox, neither one had anything that they could do. Danny Drynan pulled right down across the front of him. So now you can see why the drivers wear the tethers on the helmet and neck braces. You saw that whip in the helmet area from the uh, in-car camera shot. Yeah, that, uh, boy, that's really an unfortunate situation. That was just a, a position where there were th too many race cars. There were three race cars going three abreast into that first corner. And there just wasn't enough room for everybody. As they got to the corner, Everybody seemed to be entering the corner okay, but Drynan just entered a little bit lower than, and went right down across the front end of, uh, of Kenny Irwin. And Kenny Irwin hit him, went right up in front of Stan Fox. And look at this. This is almost identical to the way he hit the fence. Oh, boy, he really got up in the air right there. Thank goodness for good safety fences. Yeah, he did go over. He did go over. Right on top of the cage. That's why we had the roll cage. We've had the roll cage since about 1969. Kenny Irwin is very unhappy. He's back. Now, remember the altercation I talked about before? You said he'll remember it if this happens. Look at this altercation right now. We saw Irwin, and I didn't make the comment, but he looked very unhappy when he climbed out of that race car, and he walked right back to Drynan and talked to Drynan. Take a look again. You're saying Drynan moved over and actually tagged the right corner of Irwin. Well, you know, as I said, there's three abreast going into the corner. There's <laughs> just isn't room enough to go three abreast into the corner. Danny Drynan is up there in no man's land. He almost hit the fence going down the straightaway. As you come down here, uh, he obviously cut down and hit uh, hit Irwin. I mean, there's no question about that. Whether Irwin should have been out of the gas and tried to avoid him, whether he could have anticipated that, we don't know. I don't know how, uh, whether he should have anticipated that or not. But Danny Drynan clearly cut down and clipped his wheel. Boy, oh boy. Uh, well, what a way to start our evening here at Indianapolis Raceway Park with the Clark Oil Pavement Nationals. This, of course, is to be the 10-lap race of champions for drivers that have either won or set quick time this evening. And uh, we haven't gone too far, so we have a lot of racing coming your way, so stay with us from Indianapolis Raceway Park.